Hi, my name is Carlo and we are back with the fourth tutorial for Terragon.de and uh, this time we want to create a dancing Victoria uh, in Poser and import her into a Cinema 4D uh, scene and have a dancing animation. So we will start now and uh, what we do is uh, go for Google and uh, not for Google but go for poseranim.com um, this guy has uh, some animation packages here for Poser and we have here the Victoria 4 dance pack that is for free download unbelievable and we want to click here and download this set and I already downloaded this, of course. And I have it here in my Poser library, where after installing you will get Victoria 4 Dance Pack 1 and you have here some uh, new dance styles for Victoria 4. And I have prepared a figure based on Victoria 4. Um, that has no animation yet and has a standard uh, position and a standard hair and has all the morphs she needs um, and now everything we want to do is select uh, this figure and we can choose the dance last time I chose dance 1 and it was good a good dance and we are loading it so okay we see the animation is 618 frames long and we can have a look how it will look like. Yes, that looks definitely like a cool dance. Perfect. And what we want to do now is um, give her some morphs. We can morph, morph, morph the expressions. Morphs plus plus. We can make her a bit more happy. Okay, so we have a happy dancing figure. Okay, and now I will save uh, this figure as a new poser file and I will call this uh, dancing tutorial and save it here in our tutorials folder. Saving is done and we have now done everything we need to do in Poser and it's time to pop up Cinema 4D and in Cinema 4D like the last time we will open our dancing tutorial Poser file And wait a second. Create materials. And as we can see, all the 600 frames are imported well. And we have in a second we can have a look 618 frames so I will adjust my timeline here and we can see okay she is dancing in cinema and now we want to create some uh, nice things for her that the dancing will look nice and for that maybe we want to make a floor and I will create a short uh, a quick scene and I will make a pause for the tutorial now okay I have just created a small scene I have uh, put in four lights two lights in front of her left and right one light behind <coughs> to get a uh, to get the scene lightened and I have a cylinder here that has a mirror style uh, surface so it looks like uh, table dance <laughs> and I made a stage for her 
that has a mirror style too and I will make a quick render now and you can see okay I have uh, grass here and I have uh, a stage and this one and um, now we can go into the render settings again and we can make the um, resolution and I can take I can give it in manually that's uh, better with square pixels yes and we want to save this in our tutorials folder and we name it dancing tutorial and we want to save it as a quick time movie with H2 Okay, perfect. So, I think that's it. So we have our stage here and now we can adjust the camera view. Mm, I have again uh, aim camera and I want the camera aim to be camera aim should be here and should be this high. We have to choose the camera view here and move the camera around like we want it to be. Get the aim a bit more down. Okay. And now I create a keyframe for this and a keyframe for the camera. And now while she dances, the camera wants to move around here, keyframe, and in the end, the camera should be here. But now, uh, here, it's better when she looks into our direction. Get a keyframe, and this is frame 592, so I will adjust my rendering here. All pictures 592. Okay. Perfect. So we have the camera movement going around, making the scene a bit more interesting. Okay, go back here and now we can start the rendering process. Good, this will take some time and I will pause again. Okay, we've now rendered our scene and we will check what the output will look like. And we can see... Okay. That looks okay. Ah, it's a bit uh, slow. My computer is too slow. But it looks nice. I think I will upload to YouTube and then you can have a look without breaks. Okay, so that's all we have to do to get a dancing figure in Posa and Cinema 4D and with the Victoria 4 Dance Pack 1 you can download from posaanim.com. Okay, so I think you can try your own animation now and I wish you fun by doing this. So, see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.